My name is David Brown. I have a blog called The Trendy Troodon. Uh, this is going to be an unboxing or unpackaging video. Uh, what I have here is a package of dinosaurs uh, that are mainly based on marks from a company called Jaru. Uh, this, I featured the company before, and this I'm sure is a duplicate of the set I featured some dinosaurs from before. Uh, the main one is this. It's kind of a generic Tyrannosaurus or Tyrannosaurid. And it also has the hideous abomination, as I've called it in another video. It's based on a Mark's dinosaur, probably a knockoff from the 1970s. I have a video also about an early version of that I found. Uh, I have actually not been able to relocate the box just uh, due to some disruption at the at my home. But I'll be talking about this. A couple more things I have from this are terrain. People usually call it. Here's a rock. It can be a base. And this is interesting. It's a background piece, I think, based on King Kong. You can take a closer look at that. Now, uh, something else you'll see right off the bat. It has what I call the Patchy Pteranodon. I believe it's from the same people who made a group of dinosaurs called the Pachysaurs. Uh, it mostly looks normal, except it has feathers. And as I've shown before, the feathers are only on the top side of the wings. On the bottom, it shows wing membrane and insulating hair. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Actually, I'll give you one more look at the packaging you can see the back here it uh, says that it's from imperial toys north hills california and there's a date 2019 which is a little further back than i might have expected uh the one i bought before was from 2015 or 2016 at the latest and i had seen it only at walmart so now I'm going to go ahead and open this. And I'm going to see if I can kind of leave the card intact. If they're spilling out anyway. Okay, no point in separating it more than I have. Here you can see the Tyrannosaurus. It looks like they just copied Jurassic Park. It even has some errors from Jurassic Park. Now, I'm going to make sure I separate these out. These are the original terrain. This is the Tyrannosaurus. And this actually was not from this set, uh, the hideous, or the other set I had gotten before. Uh, this is actually a little bit better quality than some I have. Now, uh, the first thing you can see is the hideous abomination. I suppose I someday I'm going to end up having a nightmare of these guys trying to eat me. Only they would fall over and just start screaming because they sh are so messed up they would not be able to stand up or certainly not able to move in real life. Yeah, the early versions of these weren't actually that bad except for the messed up feet. But there have been multiple versions of it that got just got worse. If you compare these two, you can see what I mean. 
And here's one I've seen it called. A, pardon me, I'm resuming this video. Uh, now I've been talking about dinosaurs from this package. And uh, this is something that's been called a patchosaur. I'm convinced it's not really related. It's just a kind of generic Parasaurolophus, only it's got teeth instead of a beak. And they did have teeth, but not all the way. And they kind of made them look pointy like it's a fierce Carnosaur, which it was not. Uh, really, these things were probably a lot more capable of defending themselves than people think. But it would have been pretty much self-defense. And here is the patchy pteranodon. And you can see where they messed up the underside of the wings. Or the top side. Either way, they do not match. And here is the Marx clones. This is the one that's usually called an Allosaurus. Uh, these are two Dimetrodons, which of course is not a dinosaur. And I've said before, uh, the shape of the head really looks like an Adaphosaurus more than a Dimetrodon. Those were uh, vegetarians related to Dimetrodon. And we've got a Mark Stegosaurus. Uh, this is big and pretty good. And here you've got a bit of flesh hanging off of it. And here is their Tyrannosaurus. You can see it's a little bit different. The paint isn't as good if you compare them. And it's pretty easy to see which one is which. I don't see a difference in the molding, though the feel of the plastic is maybe just a little bit different. Uh, here it's heavier on the blue, and you can really see uh, for the inside of the mouth, uh, they kind of painted over the teeth with the blue. Like it's eating candy or cake or something. Here, they did uh, get the teeth painted white, which should not be a high bar, but with things like these, you get all kinds of things. I will say with this, at least on this side, uh, they got the eye pretty well placed. Again, that shouldn't be a big deal, but it can be. And we've got more dinosaurs based on marks, probably marks, maybe some MPC. I believe this is a marks niatosaurus or some kind of hadrosaur. Here's another one. Uh, two of the triceratops. Uh, which Marx redid. Actually, these look a bit sturdier than uh, some of the Marx or earlier Marx clones I've seen. Uh, Marx had reduced the size of the horns, probably to reduce cost, uh, so those can get kind of thin. These, they don't look great, but they're pretty solid. I'm pushing on them now, and you should be able to see it's not budging a lot. And here's one more Allosaurus. And you can see also the terrain pieces. And to me, it's pretty easy to see the difference between these and the ones I had. Here you have two of them side by side. This definitely looks darker. It might not show as much on the camera. And you can see where there's kind of the line of mountains again. To me it looks like uh, from King Kong the matte paintings of Skull Island. And here 
are the rocks. Uh, these, if anything, are easier to see the difference. Uh, and the plastic feels a bit different. Uh, though they actually both seem pretty solid. I don't think this part they cheaped out a lot. And here's two more of each of the terrain pieces. And here's a sort of tree. Oh, two trees. And they're just kind of squished. If you tried to lay them out, they look more like a spread out fern than a tree. And here is uh, one more of the hadrosaurs. Yeah, there are three of these here. Most of the dinosaurs, there were only two. Uh, it says on the package, 20 pieces. And as a bit of a bonus, I also bought this. Now, this is also from Jaru. Here, I'm not going to worry about opening it. They'll give you a look at the packaging. Uh, and I'm just going to open this, peel it off the plastic so I can sort through it more easily. Here it says 55 pieces. And here is really what part of what sold me on buying this. Uh, this is a helicopter. I'm just seeing now that uh, both rotors can move, which, again, is a little more than you usually get with this, though this rotor is just whacking stuff if you try to spin it. Uh, this is pretty clearly based on a... Cold War helicopter called the Hind. Uh, the funny thing about that, if you know this stuff, is that it is a Soviet helicopter. And here, pretty obviously, is a stealth bomber. Overall, these aren't too bad. They're crude, or at least very stylized. But you can tell what they're meant to represent, and they aren't completely cheap. Uh, this is pretty solid. It actually has a two-piece fuselage, so there's a real underbelly. Uh, by comparison with the stealth bomber, it's just hollow underneath, which is a lot more typical. Uh, you've got some more terrain pieces. This... Uh, just looks like brickwork rather than rock, uh, though you could kind of visualize it is uh, maybe not a fortification, but more like ancient ruins, either ancient or at least something like medieval. Yes, if you study archaeology, medieval really isn't that ancient. And if you put them together, you'll have something more like the foundation of a tower. And here is something else interesting. Uh, you do see this sometimes. It's barbed wire. Pretty good. Kind of creepy to see. And here's a few of the soldiers. Uh, they're kind of generic enough that I'm not sure what they're based on. Uh, this camera might not show as much as I would see. Uh, there's a bit of flash here, not a lot. It feels solid. And whether or not it shows on camera, he's got a real face with detail. And here's another guy in one of the very common poses. I've seen some with the rifle breaking away, which can look funny. 
Uh, this is how they would actually have done it, uh, mostly crossing rivers or going ashore during something like a D-Day landing. Another classic army man post here is Pose is the guy with the mortar. And here's a guy with the radio. This is kind of strange. And I'm sure there'd be quite a few more. I'm just taking a quick look for anything very interesting. This is an interesting pose. A guy just with his rifle slung over his back. Here you can definitely see it's an M16, which of course was introduced in Vietnam. Here is maybe a commander waving guys forward. Yes, and I'm checking to see if they have a bazooka man. I haven't seen one. Here's... A guy with a rifle in a pose a little like a bazooka guy. Here's another radio guy. And this is a little strange. Uh, they've got a flag, but it doesn't have the sticker to make it a U.S. flag. Here's a little piece of terrain to put up the flag with. And I haven't found a bazooka man. I'd have to go back through to really get a count of how many different sculpts are here. And this is different. It might be broken. It's a guy with what looks like a shotgun. Even a stockless shotgun. I'd have to take a closer look and see if there's any more like him here. Uh, so this should give you an idea what the Jaru lines are like. I will need to work out what I'll do with this video a little later. Uh, so for now I'm calling it a night. Uh, if you do see these... If you haven't gotten one, it's worth getting, uh, though if you already have one, it's more up in the air. Uh, with these, I got it so I'd have two of the Tyrannosaurus here. Uh, they look would look pretty good together. I've looked at having them face off with army men for diorama scenes like I do for my blog and I've considered uh, for fiction. Here you have a 54mm guy, I'm sure, next to the two of them. Uh, the scale makes them look a bit small, uh, but as I said about these guys, you can really picture them being quite a few different things. Uh, maybe a juvenile Tyrannosaurus, either T. rex or T. batar, or one of the smaller species, Albertosaurus, Allioramus, Nanotyrannus. So for now I'm going to pack these away, try to figure out where I put some of my other stuff before too long. Uh, so I'm signing out. Uh, this was fun to do, and I'll definitely be looking at doing more for dinosaur stuff, as well as the other things I cover.